What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Smoking Android. As always, I am Jared, and like I mentioned in our how to install video, uh, this is our review of the brand new MIUI version 4 ice cream sandwich flavored, uh, actually, version 2.3.30 build of MIUI, uh, care of Stephen Deb over at XDA, as well as his friend and partner, Magiman. So big shout out to those two. Thank you very much for working extremely hard with if all, obviously all of your spare time to uh, help uh, develop and put together this ROM. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Now, right off the bat, something really cool, a real cool piece of customization um, in MIUI that you won't find in other devices, or sorry, ROMs for that matter, the lock screen. When you're in the, the, the lock screen here, uh, if you want to use your music player, double tap on it. How cool is that? And um, it just starts playing right away. Now, at the moment, um, online music with the music player, the built-in MIUI music player, is not working. Um, I don't know what it is. I know Steve's got a lot of work to do, but um, it's actually not working at the moment. But um, if you do have, let's say, for instance, uh, the uh, Google Music APK, the latest one, that will work with this. And I know that I've got some songs loaded on my SD card here, so that's probably why it's working right now. But if you have... Uh, anything like that. And that's a pretty cool option there so you can you know skip and go forward and backwards and all that good stuff. So we go ahead and, and and as well you'll notice that it's got sort of a visualization back there as well for um, the songs playing and all that stuff which I thought was really really cool as you can see it's it bumps up there if you can get there we go. So that's pretty cool. Anyways uh, so getting out of there if you wanted to you just kinda read oh no wait a minute here how did I do it before? Ah there you go just swipe down. All right, so getting into the uh, basically the uh, the grit of the phone of the ROM now, you'll notice right away if you haven't used MIUI before, it's uh, kind of a combination of um, an iPhone UI and Android UI sort of mixed together. Now this review is going to kind of be for those of us that um, haven't seen the latest version, want to see sort of the new um, additions and fixes and all that kind of stuff and and everything and the progress of MIUI version 4 as well as for those that have never even seen MIUI and just don't know what it is and what it can do for you. Now um, the last time I used uh, MIUI for the Motorola Atrix it was actually in uh, really early alpha stages for the gingerbread uh, version of Android and um, as soon as Ice Cream Sandwich was released Stephen Deb and Magic Man actually kind of ceased uh, development of the gingerbread version and I don't think anyone's going to complain because who the hell wants a gingerbread version of MIUI when you now have a working version of um, Ice Cream Sandwich. And um, MIUI is basically the most beautiful way of, uh, and friendly way, user friendly way to customize your Android device. I swear to God, I mean, I love Sandwich Mod 9. I love all the different Ice Cream Sandwich ROMs out there. But I got to tell you, since using this, and actually I contacted Stephen Dev a little while ago, and he sent me an early version build of the of this version, 2.3.30. So, ha ha, I got to play with it first. But um, there was some issues, so I sent him a video with a bit of a bug report. And it looks like all the ones that I was complaining about have been fixed. Um, so anyways, with all that said, let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of the awesome customizations. Um, right off the bat, we're going to start with Dialer. Going into Dialer, you'll notice right away that um, it's got a big list at the top here for all of, sort of like a call log, if you will. Um, and of course, there's your, all your dialers, very elegant looking. And if you want, you can make it disappear by just kind of pressing and holding one of the buttons and just swiping down, which I thought was really neat. Obviously, you can jump right into your contacts from within the dialer there. Um, SIM cards, you can add, uh, you know, contacts, all these different ways, groups, favorites, all that good stuff. Uh, another cool setting I thought was really neat was if you get into the SMS or your messages, basically, <clears throat> uh, not only do you have all the messages and, and, and options like that up top here, but um, can you guys see this? There we go. That's better. Um, but uh, you also have the bar across so recommended. I don't really know what that means. A lot of these, considering this is still a uh, beta version, some of these aren't going to be working. But what I'll do is I'll press the menu button here and we can. you'll notice firewall, delete settings. We'll go into settings. And in here it's pretty cool because you've got a lot of options. Uh, show previews, new message pop up screen wake, delivery ports, repeat notification, stuff like that. Um, but what I really liked was message style. You can either change it from bubbles or to the list view. Group messages by time, show time for each message. So those are customization options for you. Um, as well as you can put a signature in there. 
And um, every time you send a text message, it'll you'll you'll have a little signature afterwards. <clears throat> Getting into advanced options, auto retrieve, roaming, and there's all kinds of great options here. Delete old messages, uh, fil filter out landline numbers. So if someone does a, a text a landline to a cell phone text, uh, you can make sure that it filters all those out so you don't have to see any ridiculous messages from um, you know automated uh, systems stuff like that. <clears throat> we'll go into uh, the menu here, and you'll notice right off the bat uh, the menu window is a little bit different. You can edit widgets, wallpaper search, preview, uh, which is sort of the overview look, if you will, with all the, the home screens, as well as launcher settings and regular settings. <clears throat> now, one thing right off the bat, you'll be presented with common settings and complete settings. Common settings is a list of settings that they found that users just use mostly. So, you know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, wallpaper, all of these are settings that um, people commonly use mostly. So um, they're right there at your fingertips instead of having to go into what you would normally see as your um, full settings list <clears throat> and kind of have to start navigating through the slew of options in there. Instead, they've got them all right there for you um, for, for easy, uh, ease of access. Wireless networks, there's nothing really new there. Uh, personal, we're going to go into display and, uh, you know, brightness. Um, on s the earlier version of this build, um, the soft touch capacitive keys here, um, the lights would kind of come on and off. And in order to fix that, you would just hit the automatic brightness, kind of tap it a couple times, and it would just come back up. But now it seems to be working flawlessly, so I like that. Uh, you can go right into wallpapers. These are a list of the wallpapers that are already loaded under the device. What's cool is that um, you have all the local wallpapers there. You can click on others, and it'll bring up, uh, you know, obviously uh, downloaded wallpapers or anything from your gallery you want to use as your wallpaper. But you can also go online wallpapers, and this does work, folks. Uh, you can. There's a huge, huge. I don't even know how many there are, but MIUI has been out for a while, so I'm assuming there's a huge amount of. Uh, wallpapers for you to download right from within the ROM itself, which I thought was really cool. No more having to download a third-party app to download to uh, to download and load up some cool wallpapers. You can uh, directly from the uh, the ROM itself here. <clears throat> so going back a little bit, uh, launcher. You can change the look of the launcher, the the transition effects between the um, swiping between home screens. So a bunch of options here. Um, this launcher actually almost eliminates the need for a third-party launcher um, I'm feeling so far anyways it's pretty great it's pretty great um, you can wallpaper scroll types by theme center left or right which I thought was neat keep in memory that's normal stuff icon shadow you'll see if I turn that on well maybe it needs a reboot I'm not really sure uh, I believe before what it was doing was it was kind of having like a little um, you know different colored icons uh, backgrounds if you will so I'm not really sure what that is at the moment but we can get back to that at another point in time. <laughs> um, all right, font size. I prefer large. Small's fine, or normal's fine, but I just like mine a little bit larger. And obviously, sleep. How much uh, time before it goes inactive? Uh, we go into sound here, and there's a bunch of options here. So volumes, obviously, all the regular stuff there. Uh, but now we've got music effects. So this is really neat. If you prefer DSP manager or music effects, you can you, you have the option to use either. Uh, there's been a whole bunch of new uh, phone ringtones and notification uh, ringtones as well that has been added. So this has been updated literally as of this version. So a bunch of really cool new ones. And uh, you can obviously um, just sort of uh, demo them within the ROM itself. Um, receive sound so you can customize the sound with the MSMS uh, received as well as delivered, which I thought was really neat. I've never seen that before. And dial pad, touch tones, touch sounds, and all that basic stuff, which is always nice to have. Another cool option, which you won't find in other ROMs, is the status bar settings. On uh, here you can, and of course this is obviously native to MIUI, because if you look in the status bar here, um, you've got your notifications window that you can obviously check out all your notifications. And if you do have notifications, pulling it down, it'll just jump right into the, uh, all of your notif to display all of your notifications. And then of course we've got our toggles list here, which has all of the toggles that you can use um, and you've got a little brightness graph here for quick access so you don't have to hit the menu, display, brightness, and go that way. It's right there for you. Um, now, if we were to go ahead and click on more, that throws us into the, you know, sort of more advanced customization settings. And um, you can arrange the, um, customize the arrangement of the different toggles. Um, and down here, now there's, I can't remember, was this 10 toggles here or something like that? Anyways, not counting properly, but... Um, you can change. So what I'd like to see is um, that you'd be able to add more, but 
you know, there's only enough room on the toggles page as you can see here for so many. It would have been nice to have them sort of closer together so that you could fit more on the screen, but you know, we'll see what happens with that. So that is your status bar customization. So obviously you can go compact, which would be this one, where I pull it down. Whoops. Oh, it takes a minute just to sort of reload. Pull it down and all my toggles are right there, which are nice and easy to use and you can scroll and click on those three dots and that'll take you to the uh, more sort of settings. I prefer page just to have everything right there for me. Obviously you can choose to have it uh, collapse after you've clicked it and all kinds of other good stuff. Now if we're going to gonna, uh, get into security here, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click on screen lock. Um, put that on on. You'll notice right away, obviously it doesn't have face lock. Um, they've removed that. There is some issues with it before and there is a special method to get it to work properly and remember your face and all that stuff. But uh, he's removed it or they have removed it for the time being, but there are other third party applications. If you haven't already, you might want to check out my review on face lock for apps pro because it does work for ice cream sandwich as well as gingerbread ROMs and it is flawless. So uh, you might want to go check that out. But unfortunately, Face Unlock is not on MIUI version 4 as of yet, or working for that matter. And if we were to go down here and click on Storage, you know, it's right, away, right away it's got the standard ICS themed um, sort of storage options thing area look to it. <laughs> um, but right down here, we've got a couple of options. Erase USB storage, which will obviously erase uh, internal. Or if you have your external set up, it'll erase that, I believe. Um, but this is really neat. Default USB, default USB connection type. Um, click on this, and when you plug in your USB to your PC, for instance, um, you can have it go straight into charge only, straight into mount SD card, or you can have it ask you um, what you want, either charge or uh, mount your SD card. So I thought that was a really cool feature. All right, we'll go down to buttons here. And buttons are a really neat little menu option, or settings option menu thing. <laughs> Um, right here it kind of combines all the stuff that I actually look for every time I load a new ROM um, but instead of going through like advanced and developers or apps and security and all this other stuff it's all right here in buttons so right away uh, back key long press back to kill app um, I always have that checked because if an app's misbehaving because I'm beta testing it for somebody or something like that and I can't get out of it that is a lifesaver uh, disable on lock screen power button I'm not too sure what that is I haven't tested it out yet so sue me uh, volume rocker wake, obviously when your device screen is turned off, you just hit one of the volume rocker buttons and it will wake your device so that you can unlock it, which is really nice to have this all in one place, As whereas before you'd find a little bit in developer options, you know, you'd find it in security, it's all in one place there now. Now, if we're going to look at LED, uh, this is going to be an option for the future. They have, it, it is in the settings menu now, I know, but it doesn't work all that well at the moment. Um, I've spoken with Steven Deb, he's aware of this, all the devs are aware of this issue. It is being worked on, um, but it's not the end of the world. Your LED does work, okay, when you receive a notification, it's just changing the colors and all that stuff and, and doing the, the, the large amount of customization with your LED light is not the best way, uh, isn't, isn't working very well for MIUI, at least this build at the moment. So um, what Steven actually recommends is going on the market and downloading Lightflow. Uh, which is a, I believe, a free application, but I could be wrong. Um, so you can go and check that out for yourself, and that will work perfectly. Just kind of like the, fa the uh, face lock um, situation there. Just go download a third-party application. It should work out okay for you. Obviously, going down here to developer options, we've got all the standard ICS stuff. Um, you know, USB debugging, stay awake, blah, blah, blah. Force GPU rendering and all this other good stuff, keep activities active and all that stuff like that. So just all your basic developer options in there. One thing I did want to touch base on is um, the browser. Unfortunately, the browser, although it does work at the moment, especially in uh, portrait mode, if we were to go ahead into landscape mode, you'll see that it loads up for just a moment and then eventually it crashes back to the desktop. Um, the devs are aware of this issue and are currently working on it. Apparently, it's a bit of a puzzle for them right now. And um, so if anybody is a developer watching this and knows how to fix this issue, you might want to get a hold of Steven Deb, which who can be found over at XD Developers. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind there for you guys. Also, there has been upgrades to the um, gallery. Apparently it just loads a whole lot quicker now. Um, also, once you've, the camera does work. That's, uh, I know one thing people are gonna be asking. Yes, the camera does work. We'll put good old Homer in front of us here. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. 
picture goes nice and quick. But the big update that uh, they included was um, once you've taken the picture, actually clicking on the picture to launch into the um, gallery is just instantaneous. I mean, you see that, bam, just pops up right away. So that was really impressive to see. Well, obviously one of the big things about downloading a custom ROM is the sheer customization of things. Obviously you've seen a bunch of the customization options in the settings menu there, but um, they actually have a themes uh, app uh, specifically designed for MIUI. And this is where some of the big UI look over, uh, changes sort of happen. And where it wasn't working in previous builds, it is working now. And you'll notice right away local theme, these are the ones that come with it. Um, stock blue, I don't really know what that looks like. It doesn't look like it's working or displaying what it looks like. But um, so local theme, but what we're going to go ahead and do is click on online theme. Okay. Now, MIUI has a, well, it has been around for a long time, but MIUI has a massive, massive, massive amount of customization options for your themes. And in fact, we'll click on that again, we'll click on customize, and now you can see everything you can customize. This application or this part of the ROM is a huge part of the sort of user experience. So as you can see, you can customize things like your lock screen. There is a massive, massive list of, uh, you always click on the online one, but and give it a couple of seconds to load and there's a massive list of uh, lock screens, home, um, so different uh, style home launchers, I'm guessing, or different look to the home launcher. Um, clocks, photo frames, icons, you can change the icons, you can change the look of the status bar, which I'll actually be doing myself probably, because I took a quick look and they have some really, really cool looking status bars. I uh, customize the dialer, the SMS, the font, the boot animation, this is really neat. <clears throat> so you can customize the boot animation and this will load and as you can see it's starting to load all the different types of boot animations. I'm not going to sit here and wait for them all to load up but it's something you can check out yourself if you don't like the the um, default boot animation. You can download a plethora, plethora of wallpapers, uh, lock screen wallpapers. This is where it starts getting cool too though. Ringtones. So you can download, there's a, sh like I'm not going to swear right now even though I have in the past, but there's a poop load of ringtones for you to download as well as notification sounds and alarm sounds. The really cool thing is the boot animation audios. Um, you can include any one of these to be part of the boot animation um, and start playing some sounds whereas it doesn't, most boot animations actually don't come with sounds so this is kind of a really really neat option. So as you can see um, insane amounts of customization with this ROM. It is working very very well now. This is probably going to be my daily driver for at least a week um, before I start trying out some of the other ROMs out there. I am going to want to get to you know the AOKP um, Atrix ROM and all that stuff but this is not a review on those ROMs. This is MIUI. So that is it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up down below. Help support the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. We've always got device reviews, unboxings, app reviews, as well as ROM reviews and hacks and mods and all that good stuff. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and download and install and flash this ROM. And I have to go now because I have to go and customize the crap out of my phone. And as always, I am Jared for the Smoking Android. And until next time, the Smoking Android, signing out.